I was uh, a fan of Diodorus since I was a little kid. You know, I used to see my dad playing soccer in Diodora shoes, and uh, I always thought the brand was kind of cool back in the 90s, but uh, this is a different approach. Seeing that they're making retro tech product in Italy is like expensive, and the fact that they're willing to still do that today is kind of amazing to me, so I always wanted to be a part of that since they started it a couple years ago. I went to Italy to go to their headquarters. It was basically a walk through their timeline. The product and the quality of the product is like always the most important to me. How seriously they took themselves back then and how seriously they take themselves today just made me want to work with them more. This is the RF 7000. It is a spin-off of their original 7000, which we brought back from their catalog. The one thing I took from the archive room was this asymmetrical toe that they had on a track cleat. It was one of those uh, things that I saw and I right away knew would be a game changer for me and Diodora. Uh, mixing that in with the materials and the colorway of the shoe, I think is super exciting. I think it's a breath of fresh air, not only for the brand, but for retro tech runners in general. We slapped an RF 7000 logo. Usually it's the 7000 logo, but since I added this uh, asymmetrical toe, it really changed the look of the shoe, so they let me name it after my initials. The colorway to me is uh, very special. I wanted to do something off of the Italian flag, but I thought that the Italian flag had colors that were a little too harsh to wear every day. Instead of going white, green, red, we went with off-white, olive, and burgundy. Thought it was a little more wearable. You get a little more use out of it. Out in Italy, we opened up a bunch of different lace books and I found this one lace that I really liked and it's this woven rope, cotton woven rope. This just gives it a different type of texture and different volume, so it looks a little thicker. And I wanted that because the leathers used on the shoe represents more of like a boot leather. There are four laces that come with the shoe. The first one is the beige and burgundy that comes tied in and then the other three options are burgundy olive, olive off-white, and then an all-white lace. I don't believe that people know what goes behind making a specific product. You know, we, we just see the end result or the consumer sees the end result, but they're not there at the factory seeing how things are made. And on this uh, asymmetrical piece, there's this faux stitch that kind of finishes the mock that goes all the way around. Having to stitch it over the shoe and then stitch around the mock to really finish it off. It was a little bit of an issue in the beginning and it was a big design element that I wanted to implement. So we went back and forth until they got it right. I'm seeing a lot of companies suffer in terms of uh, quality control. The investment that Diodora has made into factories in Italy is, uh, is unprecedented. It wouldn't be possible if it wasn't handmade in Italy, you know? They're perfect 